Jalen Brunson. Wow! Give this man a standing ovation if you're a Knicks fan. Why? Because he has played incredible basketball for the Knicks. That's why this is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about the Knicks being real close to making history in terms of reaching the Eastern Conference Finals if they are to win Game 6 tonight against the Pacers. Jalen Brunson has had a historic playoff run for the Knicks, and he has been their heart and soul of their franchise with multiple 40-point games in the NBA playoffs for Jalen Brunson this season. The Knicks will be counting on Jalen Brunson as their leader to help close out this series. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So, here it is. Will the Knicks win Game 6 against the Pacers? And honestly, that is going to be dependent on how well Jalen Brunson plays. If Jalen Brunson plays bad, then no, the New York Knicks are not going to win Game 6 at Indiana. However, if Jalen Brunson plays excellent basketball for the New York Knicks, then yes, they're going to go ahead and win Game 6 against the Pacers. Remember, the New York Knicks go as far as Jalen Brunson goes. The better Jalen Brunson plays, the better the New York Knicks win. You remember how Jalen Brunson played bad in Game 4? What happened to the New York Knicks? They got blown out of the gym against the Indiana Pacers. But what happens every time Jalen Brunson goes off? The New York Knicks essentially win every single ball game, no matter the supporting cast. I know the supporting cast of the New York Knicks is currently banged up, but guess what? Their role players have been stepping up big time. And of course, Tom Thibodeau has done an excellent job coaching up this New York Knicks team. If you're a New York Knicks fan right now, you have got to be hyped up about the future of Knicks basketball, mainly because of the fact that they got so many future first round draft picks coming their way. And it also helps that the role players have been playing phenomenal basketball for them. Of course, you got to look at how Jalen Brunson has changed the culture of the New York Knicks in terms of how they get their players to overachieve in their roles and how those guys have defined roles and how they make the most out of it. You look at how Josh Hart, a career journeyman, has had a career year on the New York Knicks. Why? Because of his ability to rebound the basketball as a shooting guard. We all know that Josh Hart is the ultimate hustler. This guy finds a way to get rebounds so often. And of course, the other guy that gets so many rebounds for the New York Knicks is Isaiah Hartenstein. The man has played excellent basketball for the New York Knicks. Yeah, he might have a limited game offensively, but one of his greatest strengths is getting that ability to get an offensive rebound, which is easier said than done. It's really hard to rebound the basketball at the NBA level. It's even harder to rebound the basketball on offense quite effectively, which is a skill Isaiah Hartenstein has accomplished. Yes, he only scored seven points in game five, but when you're grabbing 12 offensive rebounds and getting 17 total rebounds, as well as dishing out five assists as a big man that tells me that you're being productive on the floor of course it also helps that McBride has been playing really good basketball as of late he has really stepped it up in this year's playoffs and even though DiVincenzo didn't have a great game five he has played well throughout this series and he even scored a career high in points in game three yes I know the Knicks ended up losing that game but that was because the Indiana Pacers played great basketball towards the end of that game and quite frankly the New York Knicks just kind of struggled to put points on the board in the fourth quarter the fact of the matter is the role players of the new york knicks have stepped up big time and they wouldn't be there without Jalen brunson yes you could call Jalen brunson a ball hog but when the ball is going through in the net you can't really complain and of course Jalen brunson has also gotten other teammates involved around him he's having his Allen iverson type moment you guys remember Allen iverson in 2001 for the philadelphia 76ers where he carried a team full of bumps to the nba finals yeah i remember that i know i wasn't alive at that time but I know my NBA history. I read about it. I watch old NBA games. And of course, Allen Iverson played awesome basketball for the Philadelphia 76ers. I bring up Allen Iverson because Jalen Brunson is having his 2001 Allen Iverson type of moment where he is elevating a bunch of role players around him. You look at how the New York Knicks right now, they're banged up right now roster wise. They have a lot of players out due to injury. They've got Julius Randle who has missed the entire postseason due to injury. He's an all-star player that the Knicks could use. I know Julius Randle is not a good player in the postseason, but he is still a productive player out there. And then of course, you've got Mitchell Robinson. He's not 100% healthy. He got himself injured. 
and he's an excellent rim protector. The Knicks certainly could use some of that rim protection right now, but with the production of Isaiah Hartenstein, it doesn't really matter because Hartenstein has gotten every offensive rebound, it feels like, and he has done a great job getting the Knicks extra possessions. And then, of course, you look at OG Ananobi. He's also been banged up in this series as well. If the Knicks can get him back for game six, that would be phenomenal. I don't think they're going to need him in order to win game six, though, so maybe he still will be out, but we'll see what happens with OG Ananobi moving forward. We know that he has missed time due to injury, and they've got Bogdanovich, who's one of the better three-point shooters in the National Basketball Association. He has been out for almost all of the NBA playoffs because of injury. What I'm really trying to say is that the New York Knicks have been extremely banged up, and Tom Thibodeau has been forced to play his starters a lot of minutes, mainly because of the fact that the New York Knicks have no bench whatsoever. That's why you're seeing guys like Josh Hart get 48 minutes a night, which means that he's playing the entire ball game. He's not even getting any rust whatsoever because the New York Knicks are just down so many guys in general, and they just need to play their best players at all times. And of course, it also helps that Josh Hart is on the floor quite often because he has the energy to do so, and he keeps grabbing those rebounds, which brings extra possessions to the New York Knicks. You have to appreciate the hard work that the guys on the New York Knicks bring each and every night, and I think it's reflective of their leader because we know Jalen Brunson is a hard worker. We know Jalen Brunson, yes, he's an undersized defender, but guess what? He's trying his best to play defense, and when your star player is playing good defense, or at least he's attempting to play defense, the rest of the role players are going to follow suit, which is exactly what has happened to the New York Knicks, something that I can't say about the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers in general just don't play any defense whatsoever. They have the best offense in the National Basketball Association, but we all know that come playoff time, what's more important, offense or defense? And I'm going to say defense is more important than offense in the postseason. That's one of the main reasons why I've been right in the NBA playoffs more often than not. But in all seriousness, though, you look at the Knicks defense, they're a lot better than the Pacers defense. I know the Pacers defense, they played really well in game four, but that's an outlier type of game. That's not how the Pacers normally play. It also helped that the New York Knicks missed a ton of shots early in game four. So I think that was more of bad Knicks offense rather than good Pacers defense. But we all know that the New York Knicks offense is not exactly the greatest in the world, but they're going to get the job done in game six. It's not going to be easy, but they're going to get the job done. Of course, Jalen Brunson is going to ball out for the New York Knicks and hopefully for the Knicks, another role player will step up for them, whether it's going to be Dante DiVincenzo, whether it's going to be McBride, whether it's going to be Hartenstein, whether it's going to be Josh Hart. It's got to be one of those role players that are going to step up for the New York Knicks because if one of those role players step up for the New York Knicks while Jalen Brunson puts on another 40 plus point performance, guess what? The New York Knicks are going to be victorious in game six. I know I've been saying to basketball fans that Jalen Brunson is desperate to make history for the New York Knicks and you know what? I'm going to stand by that take because of the fact that the New York Knicks have not made the Eastern Conference Finals since 2000. The last time the New York Knicks made the Eastern Conference Finals, I wasn't even born yet at that time. That's how long it's been for the New York Knicks and I predicted before this year's NBA playoffs that the New York Knicks would end their drought and right now they're one win away from ending that drought all they have to do is beat the Indiana Pacers in either game six or game seven but I would prefer for the Knicks to win game six tonight against the Pacers because we all know that anything can happen in a game seven you're just not sure what's going to happen I think the Knicks could win game seven if it comes down to that but I don't think they're going to need game seven they're going to win this series in game six because of the fact that they're going to outplay the Pacers at Indiana I know the Pacers haven't lost a home game yet but they're due for a home loss I think Tyrese Halliburton is going to be limited the Knicks have cracked the code in terms of knowing how to limit Tyrese Halliburton of course they've also got to limit Miles Turner and Pascal Siakam but other than that, the Pacers roster really isn't that good whatsoever. You could probably say that the Pacers are lucky that this series has probably even gone to six games because this is not a team that is worthy of even being this competitive in the second round of the NBA playoffs. The only reason why the Pacers are even in game six to begin with is because of the fact that the New York Knicks couldn't score a bucket in the fourth quarter in game three of the second round of the NBA playoffs against the Pacers. That's why the Pacers have gone as far as they have, but I believe that the New York Knicks are going to end this series tonight and Jalen Brunson is going to play a phenomenal basketball game and one of the role players is going to step it up for the Knicks while Tyrese Halliburton is going to be limited. Of course, it's not going to be easy for the New York Knicks to win this game. It's almost never easy for the Knicks to win a playoff game, but they're going to find a way to get the job done. I think the game's going to be tight, but ultimately the Knicks are going to win this game in game six, which means that anybody that predicted the Knicks winning this series in six games, you were spot on and I believe that will truly happen. So that is why the 
Knicks will end up winning Game 6 against the Pacers in exciting fashion as Jalen Brunson will put on an amazing performance for the Knicks. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Tran and that sports guy talking also go follow me on twitter at dust nest tran again go ahead and do those things that i just told you guys to go do hopefully you guys enjoyed the content that was just produce peace out i hope you enjoyed that video Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video, comment down below, check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.